Hey, what's going on? Daniel here. And this is going to be a quick video um, in Badge Leads. I'm going to show you real quick if basically how to find properties that are on multiple lists or on specific lists. There's two ways you can do it. It's very easy. I'm just going to show you real quick, short video. You'll just go to filters. Of course, you'll come here to list and we're going to find properties that are on a couple different lists. Obviously, if a property has more motivation, those are the type of people you want to market and really concentrate your marketing on. Um, so we've come to list. So I'm going to pick liens and then I'm going to click on it again. And based off my list, I'm going to click on absentee. Now, if I leave it by the default where it says included in, it'll do either or. So it'll, it'll give me all properties that are pretty much just in those lists, even if a property is not in both lists. But what we're trying to find is a property that's only in both lists. So I'm going to do exclusively on and then just hit apply filters. So as we can see right here, boom, I got two properties that have a lien and it's an absentee owner. So I'm going to go ahead and clear this. And now the second way for you to find a property on multiple list, just come to filters. And of course, over here to the right, got this list count. You have the little sidebar so we can just go up and just put, you know, three to 10 lists. And then I'm just going to hit apply, see what properties are on more than three lists. So i got 17 properties that are on more than three lists. Of course, I can click on my property to actually see what list that they're in. So this one right here um, has a lien. I can see that it's in pre-foreclosure from a list date that I imported on February 26. So I need to check up on it. And then, of course... I can see right here is on my other list of homes that have been owned for more than 34 years. So I can even look at my tags as well too, that this was on my NOD March list. So it recently went into pre-foreclosure. So this is definitely a property I should concentrate a little bit more effort and time um, onto it. So again, that's how you do it. Two ways to find properties that are on multiple lists. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you got any value or you learned something new, go ahead and do me a favor and hit that like button. And then also there should be a subscribe button that pops up right here. You'll definitely want to hit that button too because every single week we're always releasing new educational content, tutorials, um, up-to-date stuff to teach you more about real estate investing strategies, marketing, tech tools, softwares, integrations, and all that great stuff to help you scale your business. And then also there should be a couple more videos right here that you should definitely watch. I mean, they're already here. You might as well watch them. If you're, if you're in a playlist of ours, playlist right there, next video right there, definitely should check out more content that we have. And if you want to, you know, do a quick shout out or ask us a question, hit it in the comment section. We're always responding and replying to everybody. So see you in the next video.